I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to sketch a distance time graph for a given situation. Sketch a graph to show that one of the runners started 10 meters ahead of the other and ran at half the speed. So for that it's a very general purpose question we have not given any values so you can select your own values right. So let us say on the x-axis we have time and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is in seconds, right? So let us say this is time in seconds. So we have time in seconds along the horizontal x-axis. And let's say we have distance in meters along y-axis. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So that is, let's say, distance d in meters along y-axis. Now it says that sketch a graph to show that one runner started 10 meters ahead of the other and ran at half the speed. Now since it is 10 meters so let me make them in 10. So it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay so I change the scale so that we can have 10 meters right there. Okay, so that means one of the runners starts from this position, the other runner starts 10 meters ahead. So that is 10 meters ahead. The starting point is different. So that shows difference in 10 meters for the two runners. Now the second criteria is, it says started 10 meters ahead of the other and ran at half the speed. Okay, so now let us say the speed of the first runner has to be twice the speed of the second runner. Okay, so let's really not worry about the reality. So let us say that the first runner runs with 20 meters per second. Let us say, it's, I know it's not possible, but let us say the speed is 20 meters. So in one second, 20, the another second, 20 more, so it'll be at 40. So we'll have another point there, correct? So for the first runner whose speed is twice, we can say this is the graph for the first runner, right, who starts at the origin. Now the second runner is running at half the speed. So instead of covering 20 meters in one unit time, which we took as seconds, uh, the second runner will take half the distance, that is 10, is it okay? So for the second runner, it will be 10 per second, so it goes to 20, and then the next second it will be at 30. So that line will have half the slope, that is this line. So it is runner 2, who started with a lead of 10, meters and here we have runner number one right who is running at twice the speed so what we notice here is that distance along the y-axis shows you the initial distance as change in starting point and slope represents speed right slope represents speed so if the slope is twice than the other in that case the speed is twice, correct? So that is how we could sketch our graph. I hope that helps. Thank you.